Welcome, everyone, to episode number 62 of Talking Kentucky. My name is Coleman Scott. His name is Caden Holmes. I'm here on an absolutely scorching hot day in Frankfort, Kentucky, and I'm sure it's not any cooler down in Hanson, Kentucky. Caden and I are both teaching band camp this week, so it's it's not really ideal weather for band camp, but luckily most of the time we're inside doing sectionals instead of outside marching. But, Caden, is, is it as hot in Hanson as it is in Frankfort? Yeah, it's funny you say that. I actually had a haircut today, and I, I told the lady cutting my hair that it's starting to feel like Houston here. So we haven't quite gotten to the heat of a Houston summer, but this this is getting pretty close. I know. Everybody's been telling me, well, you should be used to this because you're from Louisiana, and it's humid down there, so this should be nothing to you. But to be honest, it, this is kicking my butt. I mean, it's it's pretty hot here. Uh, I, it was I'm, brutal. I moved back in the middle of winter. That was I would yeah. I would take the heat any day, I think. That is that is a culture shock, uh, for sure. Claude says this weather's been kicking my butt. I'm ready for fall. So done with summer. Me too, Claude. I'm ready uh for some football weather personally here. Um Claude said this weather's awful. It's gonna be 97 tomorrow. Yeah, I think like KHSAA has already said like any outside athletics or activities tomorrow like have to be moved inside because the heat index is going to be like 110 tomorrow which is insane so over at western hills we're going to be inside pretty much all day tomorrow uh so you won't have a choice (laughs) yeah because we won't have a choice but um if we did have a choice it would be a good choice um to be uh inside um and speaking of uh good choice um, we have uh, selected a good choice for a guest on our show for next week. I tried to make that transition smooth. That wasn't as smooth as, yeah. as I as would have liked it, but you know, I tried. Um, so we, we got to announce this at the start of the show. So it's going to be a rare Monday um, edition of Talking Kentucky next week. We're going to at Monday. Okay, everybody needs to write this down. Everybody needs to be ready. Monday at six o'clock. All right, six o'clock Eastern time. Um, we're going to be joined by Maggie Davis on this show. So, so she has graciously agreed to, to come on our show. Um, and she's been super nice to talk to um, over text uh, about coming on. And, and uh, like her, her schedule is obviously like way more in, in, intense than ours um, in terms of uh, in, in terms of well, all the media stuff that that she does so she's, yeah, like, she's interviewing players one day and then she's coming on talking kentucky the next so well she she's okay. like she was she was like i'm sorry to be so difficult with like my schedule i'm like well you you are maggie davis and and we are not so like that that is that is fun that you know that is that is fine so uh looking forward to having her on um this coming uh monday for the show that um, this coming Monday at six o'clock Eastern. So that's, I don't think we've had a show on Monday at six o'clock before. That's definitely a new show time. Um, when well, we're starting uh, out, I feel like we try just about every day, but you know, I'm Did glad we, we try we Sundays. At one I, point? We tried several days. I think Sunday was, was one of them, but you know, at first we, we started with the pre-recorded shows. So I'm, I'm really did. glad we decided to start going live. It makes it a lot know. more fun. I don't know. Why Easier. It is easier. I don't know why we ever did pre-recorded. I mean, I think we were kind of worried about it being perfect or whatever. But you oh, know, that just went out like, the window. Yeah, it did go out the window. Yeah, on the first by episode, by episode two, we we sounded very calculated. We were like, I was like, "Hello, how are you, Caden?" And you were I'm like, "I'm some basketball. I've been shooting some some goals and making some hoops." Like it, we were all very, you know, very. Uh, square so now we're getting a little bit better so no I'm, I'm glad we do it live i also don't know why we we ever had anything but guts and bourbon as our theme song i mean that that's goaded that's the best song ever yeah shout out to to morgan bay for helping us pick that one but yeah what was it down to guts and bourbon and something grace something it was like it the, was like grace behind the curtain i think yeah that was a good one too but it it, it, was, it was no guts and bourbon Guts and Bourbon's very Kentucky. It, it's very talking Kentucky. It just, I think yeah. it just fits our, our personality. So, um, hey, it, uh, today is national something probably. So I'm going to, I'm going to go to our, uh, pull up our holidays here. I don't even think we did our holidays, um, last week. Um, I think we forgot to do that. So we're, we're going to do, um, do that. Um, it, Claude says, do nappy roots, my old Kentucky home. I have not heard that. Caden, have you heard nappy roots? 
No, but Clyde, the issue is is we have to have free music. You can't because if if we get if we get caught with that, then our show gets taken down, and you know, we we didn't want to yeah. get mixed into that. So guts it's, and bourbon's free. It's it's perfect. It's got the bass solo, you know, so it's perfect for the show. Um, it's International Digital Adoption Professionals Day. I don't even know what that means, so I'm going to scoot on past that one. Um, it is National Chili Dog Day today. I can tear me up some chili dogs. Yeah, about you? pretty good from Sonic, yeah, if it's fresh. Sonic does have good chili dogs. Where else um, do you get chili dogs? I feel like you can get them at Skyline or Gold Star, probably. We don't have that over here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I've, I, we have Skyline like in Lexington. I think there's one in Frankfurt, but I think there's Gold Star and, and Skyline in Lexington. But I can't remember, uh, last time I went to either one of those places. Um, it's National Scotch Day today. Caden, do you know what Scott, like, is Scotch basically bourbon that was made not in the United States? Like, I, I've, I've failed to f- ever find a good definition for Scotch. When I hear of Scotch, I immediately think it's like bourbon, except you, you stick your pinky up while you drink it kind of thing. That that sounds like high class bourbon. That so sounds about it, right. It's not it doesn't really fit my style, I don't think. You know, I might try it sometime, but it sounds very expensive on top of that. Well, in fact, it says here in the description of the holiday, in order to be considered scotch, this classy and distinctive spirit must be made in Scotland. So it's basic is it basically bourbon? or whiskey that's made in Scotland. Is that all it is? That's what it sounds like. And it sounds expensive. Okay. Um, and Hey, Claude's calling out Josh here in the comments. He says, Josh, I can't be the only one talking, man. <laughs> well, he, he did say hello. He did. Yeah. Josh said hello, everyone. Yeah. In fact, he was, Get the off first his back, Clyde. he was the first commenter tonight. Um, you know, but Claude's Claude's carrying the, the, the comment section right now. I, I think, was it last week he was talk? He was like tagging everybody. Yeah, he tagged the whole tribe comments. last week. That's right. Uh, speaking of Scotland, it's Bagpipe Appreciation Day today. I feel like I would need a lot of scotch if I was listening to bagpipes. I'm, I'm not a fan of bagpipes. Hey, Glasgow High School bagpipes. The Scotties, yeah, yeah, the Scotties. The <laughs> bagpipes. Hey, I have a yeah. funny story on bagpipes. Have you ever played trumpet with a bagpipe? No, um, well, I did for an Easter gig one time in Owensboro, Kentucky, and I will always remember that gig. So as you can you, imagine, you've played all the weird trumpet gigs. You've did you do the Turtle Man Baroque trumpet gig too? No, was that, that wasn't that. I don't. That wasn't me. That was like Connor and Cody. I was somewhere else that day. I, I wish I would have been there because supposedly it was a good one, but but no, I, I did play with the bagpipe though. Hey, Josh is driving right now. I don't know if he's he's doing DoorDash or if he's if he's back to uh, doing it, his previous job. But um, in in any way, we advocate for for safe driving. You know, be be safe, Kentucky. You know, on, on the roads. Uh, you know that kind of thing. Buckle up, yeah. B- buckle up and drive drive safe or drive smart, Kentucky. Whatever it is, you know. Um, maybe we can get a sponsorship from the Kentucky Department of Highway Safety now. Hey, speaking of buckling up, didn't Weren't we talking about Bucky's, those Bucky signs the other day? Yeah, uh, I'm posting a meme about that. Is that, that a topic? Said, I feel like that should be a topic. Well, I mean, sure. We, it's not written down on my list of topics, but we can make it a topic. Uh, I, I was talking with Caden and I posted a meme how Bucky signs always say, like, do you need to pee in 245 miles or whatever? Like, they always say clean bathrooms like 100 miles ahead or whatever. And I've, yeah. I've just always found that to be interesting that they advertise so far out. Yeah. Do you need to so. pee 140 miles? Uh, uh, do you need to pee worse? 130 miles kind of thing. So, you know, it just keeps on getting lower and lower. And they got to tell you every other mile. So, yeah, that's 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 true. Supposedly there's one coming to, to Smith's Grove. So looking forward to that. Um. That that is a random place to put a Bucky's. I feel like um, there's one in Richmond. I think that's the only one in Kentucky right now. So that's a very random. I feel like they would put one in like Lexington or Louisville before then. Well, it's basically Bowling Green, so it kind of makes sense, but but still. Hey, John Hammonds is in the comments here. He says he just got finished uh, weed eating. He's worn out. Um, I feel like it's too hot to weed eat right now for sure. Um, yeah, the directors are talking about how they were mowing their yard in their 
their 12 to 5 break today. I cannot imagine. Good to see you in the comments, though, John. I haven't talked to you in a while, so I hope you're doing well. It's good, good to see John here uh, for sure. Um, it is also National Chicken Finger Day, which I feel like that's a bracket we need to do at some point. We need to talk about our like the best chicken fingers on the plate. Who, who like does restaurants? Have, yeah. Who does have the best chicken fingers out there? You know, you got to, if you, if you want to talk about chicken nuggets, if chicken nuggets counts, you got to put Chick fil A in there. Yep. I unfortunately can't eat it because of my peanut allergy, but I'm sure it's in there. Too bad because it's kind of goaded. Okay. Well, uh, that's all right. Yeah. You know, I, I will survive. It's fine. Um, There's Popeyes and it's, it's okay. KFC is okay. Got to put canes in there too, probably. Canes. Zaxby's, maybe. Zaxby's, yeah. That, you know, there's, uh, I feel like a chicken finger bracket at some point would be, um, would be good. And, um, yeah, it, it's also National Carson Day today. Um, so, uh, it's, it's not National Cason Day, but a lot of people right. think that Cason's name is Carson. So we can kind of stretch that and celebrate this and like it's National Cason. Johnny Day. Carson? Johnny Carson. That could be, ha- have there been any famous Carsons that have played for UK? Cause I can't not think of I any off of. the top of my head. Um, and, uh, it'd be a first name. It could be one of those first name, last name things too. Do we know any Carsons with the first, the first names Carson? Oh, that's right. It could be, uh, be careful. You know, the thing that Matt Jones stole from yeah. us. <laughs> be careful because Matt Jones could, could seal our topics there. Um, so a lot, a lot of good holidays happening, um, for sure. And Hey, if you're just joining the show, uh, we just want to go and throw out this advertisement again because we're probably going to start advertising on our page more after um, after the show and everything. Uh, this coming Monday at six o'clock, uh, we're going to do episode number sixty three, and Maggie Davis is going to join us on the show. So that's going to be a, a great um, episode. We're excited to have uh, her on and talk a lot of talking Maggie, talking Maggie, talk talk a lot of talk a lot of UK uh, sports, which. That gets me to my next thing here, Caden. There, there is actually not a lot happening in Kentucky sports world right now, and and that hasn't been the case for some time. I feel like even even this entire summer, there's been like constant UK news happening, whether it's like basketball recruiting or like like football. Hey, coaching. we're trying to add a seven footer, aren't we? Is that news? Is there a new seven footer like for this year? Yeah, like do the seven two who like plays point guard well, overseas. This is- you hear about this? I, I did not hear breaking about news. Me. This is news to Cody. Me. I'm like Ryan Lemon on KSR. I, I I find out news as the show is going on. So yeah, uh, you know, go go on, Caden. I have not heard. No, this, I don't. But. I don't really haven't really done my research. All I know is Kentucky and Memphis is recruiting some seven two guy from overseas who is Sounds like as agile as a point guard, and there is some chance that he might come this year. I don't know how legit it is, though. But I do know Cal was in attendance for one of his games or something. Well, I'll take him. I mean, it's, it sounds yeah. like a good idea to me. I, I I don't think there's anything bad about a 7-2 person with guard skills. I, I mean, I think we could use them. Um, the thing is, that can't hurt, the, right? Uh, it, it, it can't hurt. You know, like, I, like you said, winning those games is better than losing those games. So I feel like having a 7-2 person is better than not having a 7-2 person. So, I, yeah, I completely we, agree. We need a tier list of the dumbest things we've ever said on this show. I think I'd, I think I'd probably put that on there. That would that would have to be a very large field. Like, forget the field of 68, like the NCAA tournament. That's going to have to be like a 124-team field or something like that. That's going to... That that would take some time to put together. I feel it like would. it would be fun though. Clyde, I'm not talking about some some two some two. I'm talking about about the other guy. Well, yeah. Uh, if if anybody knows this new guy's name that's supposed to join this year, uh, let us know because I I certainly did not know. Maybe we're maybe we're failing as a as a Kentucky sports podcast right now. But if you could let us know, you know that'd be great. I have but his we, name, but I cannot pronounce it. Bonamir. Avisic. 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 Okay. It's the most Avisic. Kentuckian way you could possibly pronounce that, but that's what I see. He's 7 2. Tom Leach is going to have trouble with that name if he comes here. He's going to have First to rounder in the 2024 draft to me is what someone said on Twitter. Claude said he's 7 foot 7. I have some doubts about that. Is he that's really 7 foot? Well, I. 
I'm going to believe Claude here and until, until he says, otherwise I'm, I'm just going to manifest that he's seven foot seven, because I, I feel like we could use a seven foot seven guy on our team. I feel like that, that could help. Um, but, uh, you know, aside from Kentucky sports tonight, we, we, we've got a lot of other, you know, more, more important topics to get to tonight. Like the, like the fact, um, that there are, uh, that there are aliens in existence and Claude says, Oh, he might be seven foot two. It's either seven, two or seven, seven is close. It's, to definitely seven two. <laughs> it's one of the two, but, um, yeah, hope, hopefully these aliens aren't seven, two or seven, seven. Hopefully they're, they're they might uh, be 10. Before. Yeah. They might be 10 feet. Um, so Caden has been more than Caden is the alien guy. He's our, on the show. He's our resident alien expert. Um, and I feel like he's known about all this for, for longer than I have, but apparently something happened today with aliens to where some dude like just testified that used to work for the government saying that there are aliens and the government has like alien body parts and that the government knows about it and they're keeping it secret from everybody. And the government's like, no, you're full of crap. And he's like, no, the government's full of crap. And uh, so now like Twitter and everybody is speculating that aliens exist. So um, I don't know what to make of any of that, but Caden, wh what have you heard on the topic? You know, I haven't heard much. I didn't know something happened today until you told me that. Cause I pretty much don't get on social media very often, but you know, I, I'm hoping that these aliens are not like the ones that were on our, our bracket last week. I'm hoping they are the ET basket aliens that e. Coleman would rather have as well. And that's what it, he envisions. So it is yeah. funny that the aliens just want our bracket. You know, it, I, I feel like we, we spoke this into existence as, um, and you just posted that article about the, the congratulations aliens yesterday. I did, uh, yeah. If you, check that out if you haven't seen it. So <laughs> yeah, if you haven't I, seen that. It's put a pretty good, good uh, visual on there, and you know, it's nice a good font. article. I, I took put some takeaways on there that you might enjoy reading. Bashing Tennessee, as always. So, yeah, go check that out. Yeah, that font that you put on there that said congrats, aliens, looks like a, <laughs> like a sorority girl, like kind of font. That looks like bid day or something like That's that. That's kind of the, the voice I was imagining as well, now that you say that. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've never thought of a sorority girl's voice saying congratulations, aliens, but thanks for putting that image in my head. Um, Claude definitely thinks that aliens are real down here in the comments. I'm just going to go ahead and say that I don't think aliens are real. I don't care how much evidence there is or anything like that. They, they're, there's just no chance that aliens are real. And they you definitely, don't think it looks like this one? <laughs> they definitely don't look like that. No. Uh, if, if aliens are real, they're the stereotypical like little green guy. Like It's E.T. Like ET, e if aliens are real, it's it's definitely ET. You know, as as evidence in our yeah, the one that wants to to be your pet. Yeah, one that a great white shark could tear up. Uh, it, you know, if you if you haven't listened to our wild animal bracket um, last week, go back and listen to that. You, you can you can hear the championship matchup of aliens and a great white shark. Um, and uh, if you're wondering why aliens were in a wild animal bracket, then then you should definitely I made it. Yeah, it's because Caden made it. So yeah, you should you need to check out the episode for for context about that. Um, but I'm of the belief that aliens are are not real. Claude thinks aliens are real. Um, Caden, what do you think? I'm a tentative, not real, but I entertain yeah. the idea. Okay, okay. I don't even entertain the idea. I just I just don't think. I feel like if if there were aliens, we would know by now with the technology that we have. Like we we would know aliens exist by now. I mean, that's just unless they're living in the ocean. Uh, and Claude also says that megalodon sharks um, still exist, including the kraken. <laughs> okay, good. Claude's just got all the like conspiracy yeah, theory he, animals he going on over here. Sasquatch too. I am curious to to know if Claude believes in Sasquatch. My question is, know. how were the pyramids at Giza made? If it wasn't aliens, how was Stonehenge made? I mean that that's another question. I don't think it was aliens because I don't think aliens are real, and and is that's why they didn't you know I didn't vote for them to win the the animal bracket because if they're not real, they can't win the wild animal bracket for talking Kentucky. I mean that's just my rule. Um, <laughs> Clyde says yeah Bigfoot, <laughs> so yeah I guess he does believe in Sasquatch. 
He's like, yeah, I know. I'm Bigfoot. Yeah, Bigfoot's definitely wow. not real. What's the difference? Except, except people Seth. put on monkey suits going and walking around the woods. It's about as real as Bigfoot is. What's the difference between Sasquatch and Bigfoot? They're the same thing. You know, different parts of the world call them different things. You got Sasquatch, you got Bigfoot, you got Yeti. You got the I feel like Yeti is different. The Yeti is like Arctic Bigfoot, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, or that's, that's abominable different. snowman. I think Yeti is like is that in like Asia or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's like it's like around the Mount Everest and stuff. I think is where it's supposed yeah, to probably. be. Whenever we make our two year celebratory talking Kentucky video, what I just said is definitely going to be on there. I said I th- I think Yeti is Arctic Bigfoot. <laughs> I feel like that would I feel like that is a good yeah, clip. Like a tender. That, that stands out of context. Um, Josh Hart says, so you all think we are the only ones in this big universe? I think not. So Josh is also a believer in aliens. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I think we are. Uh, that's just the stance I'm taking right now. But uh, as of today, you know, June, uh, well, it's, it's actually July and it's almost August. So it's definitely not June. But July 27th, 2023, yes, I, I think we're the only ones in the universe. That, that's I'm like I 75% that we're the only ones. But when someone say, says the government's lying to us and aliens exist, I'm going to listen to them. For I'm going to entertain the idea. Well, uh, like People you know, are I, thinking about politics and some random guy says, yeah, our government's hiding alien body parts. Well, you know, we got to at least entertain it, right? We probably do. We probably do. Um, you know, one thing that, uh, that Josh always compliments us on here in Talking Kentucky is that we don't talk politics. Um, but, but, I will say Donald Trump had a pretty good tweet today. He did tweet out um, that if there, are a, a, well, he really hopes that there's not extraterrestrial life out there because if there is, and the United States government's going to start sending them money. And I thought that that was pretty funny. So that's all I'll say about that. Um, just wanted to throw that out there. I think but, both sides would agree with that, though, right? I, I would, I would say so. I'd, I'd probably agree with that one. Um. Caden, uh, I have a confession to make. I I didn't download the Miss Miss Fitch video. I, I forgot to download that right but right before the show. But I feel like may, maybe we can get that going on here. Maybe we can share our screen or get that pulled up or something. But for for anybody that that doesn't know, um, Caden's old gym teacher from Madisonville North Hopkins High School uh, is famous now because she was in a reel posted by Shaquille O'Neal. Um, you may have seen it on Drew Franklin's page from KSR because uh, it was also his gym and health teacher or PE and health teacher. Um, and he was sharing it all over his Twitter and Instagram and stuff. But Caden, you're the one that is it Miss Fitch? Is that her name? Yeah, Miss Fitch. And people people called her Fitcher for some reason. <laughs> I, don't really, I don't really know why. But Fitcher. yes, she supposedly was the the women's basketball coach back in the day even my mom had her like she she retired from Astonville in like 2015 so yeah she's been on there a while a that's exactly her personality i could i could see her just going up to shack without even thinking and saying this is why you suck at free throws and just walking away i, I could see her exactly doing that not make a big deal about it my favorite part is at the end i'm trying to find it here but at the end she says love you yeah, and just walks well, away. well, so how did Shaq, did she actually say that to Shaq or like what, how did Shaq find that? Like what, what part did Shaq play in this? I don't know if this was a previous clip that Sha- Shaq found or this actually happened. Like it looks like it's all in this one restaurant and there's rumors that he paid for the entire restaurant's food that night. So I can, oh, I can definitely see it actually happening. Well, who else would she be telling to work on their free throws in Madisonville, Kentucky? Then Shaquille O'Neal. No, I think she was in Vegas. Oh, that's the Vegas. rumor. At, that's the rumor, at least. I don't. Whatever, yeah, this clip is going around all Madisonville. Like he's going crazy. Wherever she was didn't give me uh, Vegas vibes. It did give me more Madisonville vibes. But I guess the better question would be what Shaquille O'Neal doing in Madisonville, Kentucky? Um, if that's the case. Oh, good. We got it pulled up here. Nice. All right. Well, let's, let's see listen. if we can get the sound on here too. You can see her doing the free throw there. So. Do you hear it? Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I heard it a little bit there. I think it was kind of kind of background noise, but you could cut. We could kind of hear it there. She was like, you, "You get your, you can let it play a couple times here if you want." Um, she's uh, she's saying, "Got got to work on your follow through there or something." Kind of funny. Let's see if we can hear it again. Try to try playing it back one more time. Let me see if I can get this audio in there. Yeah. In the meantime, we can look at Miss Fitch's like uh, good form. Yeah, you know, she's she's got. <laughs> she like, does a have hand. a good form hand in the cookie jar i feel like she could you know cal could bring her on as, as some kind of like free throw expert she can be the free throw like coordinator for the team i feel, I feel like that would I feel like that would work that would be good um claude says coach fitch that's right she can she can become she can go from miss fitch to Co- coach fitch i feel like that'd be good <laughs> is Shaq mocking her at the end <laughs> he is <laughs> Okay, there it is. Yeah, I hear it. <laughs> follow the phone. I know why. Your free throws ain't going down. Okay, follow through, baby. That's how they can. Right. Okay. Okay. Follow through. Follow through. I know why your follow throughs ain't going, your free throws ain't going down. It's that follow through. And then you see Shaq at the end. He's like, it's that follow through. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. There hey. is no one I've ever met that, like, Sounds like that and looks like that. But that's definitely her. Claude says, I already got the name for this episode, Coach Fitch. Talking Coach Fitch. Talking Fitcher. Yeah. <laughs> Scott says, uh, somebody sure needs to teach our boys how to shoot free throws. Well, what? Why can't it be Miss Fitch? From well, I think I mean, they're, better? they're better than Shaq. Yeah. That, that, which is not saying anything, but. Yeah. Uh, definitely better than Shaq. No, sorry, I forgot to download that video ahead of time. But you can, you gotta, you can gotta hear it there. I'm, I'm glad you, you got it going. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll bring that back. You know, I feel like anytime we're on here, talking about like how bad we are at shooting free throws, we just need to break out that clip of, uh, <laughs> of Miss Fitch going. I, yeah, I tell you why free throws ain't going that. It's that follow through, like I feel, and I feel yeah, like kind of like we do with Smashed. We'll bring it back as a that's right. reactionary clip. Yeah, I yeah. like that idea. Um. Uh. Yeah. We need. We need to do that. Yeah. I feel like we need to get her on the on the show. I feel like she can be a potential talking Kentucky guest. She can call in. We could probably yeah. make that happen. We can make that happen. We can get her on the show. She. Well, she's famous now. She's. She's viral. She's gone viral. So. Um. Uh, I feel like Maggie yeah. Davis, Corey Hunt, Coach Fitch, Coach Fitch. It's a good good lineup. Yeah, for sure. Um. Uh. Claude says he can actually make free throws with Shaq on two K. That feels like an accomplishment, making free throws with Shaq on 2K. Free throws on 2K are hard to begin with, but Shaq, like the little the window that you have to get the little bar in or whatever when you have to double tap X or whatever it is, is like impossible with Shaq. Well, the issue 2K. is you, you push X and he just holds the ball for like 10 seconds and then he just flings it up there. She's not kidding. It's the follow through. It you got to have one, one smooth motion, Shaq. Yep, that's right. Um, hey, you, you can tell us, uh, how to shoot free throws or, um, you could tell us your thoughts on aliens, whatever you want to do. Uh, call the show at 502-234-1504. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, Josh, haven't heard from you in a minute. Um, I know he's probably been, been staying busy lately. Uh, Claude, of course. Um, it is the Claude Hair phone line after all. Um, or if you've never called before, you know, we, we don't bite. You know, you can even talk about Kentucky basketball. We're, we're you know, we're kind of taking a, the, the stance of talking about random topics tonight since there's not much going on in Kentucky athletics world. But, you know, if you want to call in uh, and talk about some Kentucky Clyde sports. Clyde already called in, I think. Clyde, how you, know, you doing? Do yeah, what up, what up, what up? What's going on? Calling in on your, on your phone line. Huh? You're calling in on your own phone line. I am, am I? Ain't that something like I always do? Yeah, I'll tell you. Thing. Two worst people to shoot a free throw with on 2K is number one, Shaq, and number two, Dwight Howard. Those two right there are literally the worst people to shoot a free throw with. I'm being dead. I'd I'd agree with that wholeheartedly. I used to do those fantasy leagues, and I'd I'd draft these players from like 40 years ago, and I had no clue who they were and had no clue who they shot with. So I, I was probably really bad on free throws in that game. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Dwight, wait, I can't remember if Dwight Howard's on 2K23 because he's not even in the league. He's like in 
Thai, Taiwan, Thai something. Thailand, Dude, Taiwan. My, yeah. My last 2K yeah, is like you know, 2K12. <laughs> so, yeah, I stopped playing whenever it started you know, getting bad and becoming the same game every single year. So, But the issue is they, they get rid of the servers after like one or two years, so they basically force you to buy the new one. But anyways, yep. Clyde, what 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 do you have for us? As you famously said that one time. Um, you know, we're about what a month away from football, and uh, Heck and yeah. today yeah. on Twitter, or no, I one of my friends texted me about Joe Burrow. Um, he was doing a non-contact play. He like scrambled out of the pocket, went to what that was that. I think he went to the right side or the left side. I can't really remember. I, oh, wait. No, he went. I believe he went to the right side. I couldn't be wrong. But when he was scrambling out of the pocket to make a throw, he, like, hurt his calf. And I was freaking out because I'm like, oh, man. Because, you know, sometimes the Bengals can't catch a break. And Kentucky basketball can't catch a break either with these, all these banged out of injuries. Like, it's been so stressful. To like, you know, but I hope Joe Barrow's okay. It doesn't really look anything too serious. It just looks like a bad spring, but man, keep me y'all's prayers because we're trying to go on the Super Bowl run this season and we can't afford him to get injured. We just cannot afford it. Yeah, when I saw the Joe Burrow news, first thing I did was was think about Quad actually. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it's not that bad because I, I feel like the Bengals. I mean, I've been an adopted Bengals fan the last few years with my LSU connection. You know, with Joe Burrow and uh, just you know being around Kentucky, being close to Cincinnati, I feel like I got a lot of friends in Cincinnati, so um, I, I I can consider myself a Bengals fan now. I feel like so, you know, I'll jump on the bandwagon. And you know, you also got you know Jamar Chase too, and uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. LSU, I don't think there's another LSU Bengal. I think those are the only two. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't know. I can't keep up with everybody or what college they went to, to be honest. I, all I know is I, I keep better when they're just on the current NFL team that they're on. I, you know, same way with every other sport. You know, you can't really keep up with everybody. It's kind of hard. I can't but, keep uh, up with where college players are going to college. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't either. The, the transfer portal is like free agency now, so you can't keep up with it. No, transfer portal starts whenever you're like 10 years old these days. <laughs> yeah. Clyde, what do you think about this seven foot two center? that we're supposedly going after? Well, um, to be honest, I don't really know much about him. I knew our coach is Chuck Martin and Orlando Atiba and Tim Coleman went to go watch him play over in his work. Where is he playing now? Where is he from? Was he Russian? I could be wrong. It's It sounds Russian with that name. So, yeah. Yeah, because, like, you know, honestly, I don't know. Um, are they trying to recruit him for this season or next season? I hear it's uh, – as of today, I heard it was this season. But that could change. But I heard Memphis and is going then, after him too because, you know, Memphis is always trying to copy us. Yep. I would really have Santo, to be honest. Like, I saw Santo tear it up yesterday. I saw highlights. I'm like, yeah. We already I have Santo, it. don't I, we? Yeah, but, I mean – Let's get both. The problem is with him. The problem is with him is that if he was to actually be on this year's team, he won't be able to actually come until January, anyways. So, I mean, right now, I mean, we won't know anything until really August, anyways. I think that's when we'll find out officially an answer because that's what Callis said and other people have said that we'll find out about August. We'll see. I don't know if he'll be on this year's team, to be honest. I'm actually okay with the big man situation. That I mean, yeah, it's just that Ugo and Bradshaw's in there, but they should be okay soon. And My thoughts is if we have another scholarship and we have injured big men, then I feel like we need a big man. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, oh, we need know, a big I'm man. Just, I'm, okay, I'm okay, though. I'm good. I mean, I love the guards that we have, and that small ball was fun to watch. I can't, like, yeah. I love to watch. I enjoy it so much, and – yeah, maybe okay. maybe it helped us without. I, I'm not saying I, I wish Oscar didn't wouldn't have come back, but is it's it's good to see that we can play without him. But Clyde, do you have anything else for us before I let you go? Well, you know, one more thing. I mean, 
people were complaining about Oscar clogging up the lane for our guards. He did at times. He did. He did at times, but he didn't do it all the time. But um, he made up for him. Yeah, we'll go. We'll, we're going to miss Oscar. So, but yeah, y'all be careful, and I'm gonna tune back in. All right. Thanks as always, Clyde. Calling on the Clyde here phone line. Thanks, Clyde. All right. Yep. Hey, he likes his team, Caden. He's like Cal. He likes his team. He likes the small ball. He didn't. We don't need more bigs. It's fun. You know, he. Well, I I could always use some seven foot two point guards, but oh, I could too. Yeah, no, like Jokic out there or something. But you know, he he was talking about the football injury, and it made me think. I know ankle is a common injury with basketball, but I feel like football. Like, what what are the common football injuries? I feel like it could be literally anything right since you're uh, well i feel like that like acl or like like torn meniscus is another one that's a question for my old roommate steven i feel like i feel like he would know the most common maybe, maybe i need to, to text him in the next week maybe he can tell me like the, the top five yeah, most common be, football have him call on the show and he could tell us I well, we already have another call coleman oh well, we're popular today let's go this is talking kentucky who's this Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh. How y'all doing? Oh, hey, Josh. What's you up, know, Josh? Colin has your numbers memorized, but I'm not to that point yet. Uh, so good. I hadn't called in a while. I thought maybe you forgot my number. It's been a couple weeks. <laughs> no, it's just my memory, Josh. Yeah. Well, going to get a bear on that alien ship and let him mess with your memory. <laughs> I bet they have the technology to do it. So do you think do you, you think know, the aliens look like ET or do you think they look like alien versus No, Predator? I think you know what I think? I think there's another set of people just like us out here, somewhere in that universe. And they probably think we're aliens, we think they're aliens, but I just I think God is so big, I just don't think he's like, Oh, I'm just gonna make one spot, one or you know, I just don't believe that those we're aliens the only are ones having movies here. on human Let's, invasions. It's such a yeah. I don't think we have to worry about an alien invasion. It would be just like a, you know the the other the other the other place is like man. I don't want to go down there. That that Earth is crazy. <laughs> well, they would be right. They got they got yeah, the right about that. White House doing cocaine in the West Wing. <laughs> yeah, well, that that's true. <laughs> Which is not Noah. So we figured that out. It's not our, yep, that, it's not our that's buddy. You know they closed the case on that. They said that they said that they uh, they just there's not enough evidence. They don't know who did it, which I don't buy at all. By the way, yeah, they know. Um, yeah, they just lose cocaine in the White House, yeah, and no one knows. They, who it is. they they know they know whose stuff that was. Come on, man. <laughs> well, Josh, anyway, what do you have yeah, for us? It's, it's been kind of slow. Uh, we really haven't been getting many recruits football, or I mean, we really that's. Even football slowed down. We were killing it, and then all of a sudden it's, it's, it's kind of slowed down, maybe because it's getting towards the beginning of the season. Maybe the recruiting uh, starts going away. So I really haven't seen much on the recruiting front uh, for any kind of sports. I know we got some big time. Uh, we got some of our big players back from last year's baseball squad coming back. Uh, and more, Tyler Moore, is that his name? He's from uh, – Kentucky somewhere. I think you're right. Yep. Or I Mudd- Tyler Moore, uh, but it's, he's not he, a baseball he's player. A, he, he's supposed to be a native from Painesville, where I live. So I don't know. I know he he went to Moorhead. He lives in Moorhead, Kentucky. His family does, but he's somehow tied to Eastern Kentucky. And uh, he's coming back. And there's a shortstop. He was a big time player. He's coming back. And, uh, Josh, so I didn't know you were big the into baseball. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were that big into baseball. Well, I like, I just like Kentucky sports in general. You know, it's, it's, we're, it's we're a good fan. Yelling at it, then I'm, then I'm with it. You know, so you know, it'd be a volleyball or gymnastics. Uh, gymnastics has fallen off over the years. We were winning national championships after national championships, and that, but it's kind of back down in the last few years, but I'm all about UK. Yeah, UK anything. Coleman, did you ever play at volleyball games? Like trumpet at volleyball games? No, I never what did. Like midnight? I kind of wish I didn't. No, that was the hockey. Hockey games were at midnight. I heard whatever games yeah, were at midnight at UK were crazy. 
I bet they were. Well, no, yeah, the hockey games were literally at midnight. Yeah, uh, and the band did go and play at those for some. Yeah, um, I, I never did those either. How but. big? How big is UK's uh, arts and music there at UK? It's pretty big. It's pretty big. Yeah, it's a it's a college of fine arts and it's a, a school of music. Um, so it's a pretty big chunk of the of the university, I'd say. Do they ever compete for national championships? How does that work? Do they well, ever that more of an You answer this, Cole. Well, sort of. Well, if you take, you know, you can't honor trumpet players. So there's this thing called the National Trumpet Competition. Uh, huh. and, and that's that's sort of like that's sort of like March Madness for Trumpet. It happens in March, and you can compete yeah, as a solo or an ensemble, you know. March. And uh, you know, mo- most most people um yeah, it's March Madness for trumpet. Yeah, it's basically what it is. Uh, but but most people do like uh you know most schools at least do the the ensemble um, division. That's kind of how it started off. I think anyway it was as a trumpet ensemble competition. Uh, I think and uh, yeah, so that's that's like March Madness for trumpets. But but as far as like marching band competitions or anything, like no, I I, I don't think I don't think that's a that's a thing. No, when you get to college, people don't really care that much about marching band it's more of like entertain the crowd kind of thing you know sometimes directors take it really serious and but anyways uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyways josh what else well, I, you got I, for us before i, I, I let you go i just really didn't know um how that worked because like i know they could they compete in archery and, and shooting oh, yeah, and all archery. that stuff for national championships i didn't know if there was something like that more. Really, uh, like I said, it's been slow lately. You know, not a lot of news. You know, uh, trying to, you know, hopefully trying to keep people healthy and not coming to the uh, season with injuries. And I know uh, we got some on the basketball side, but I think they're minor compared to uh, in years past. So I think it's pretty much uh, what whatever at this point. How did you how did you guys gauge? Um, uh, the way Kentucky played as a whole in them games in Canada? Well, for me personally, uh, I really liked the style of basketball that we played. I thought it was a different style of basketball. I thought it was modern basketball. I thought we took a lot of threes, which was great. I hope we continued to do that during the season. Uh, part of the reason that we did that is because we didn't have like any bigs and we only had guards. We, you know, had to shoot a lot of threes. Um, but I was most encouraged by our shooting in general. We, we, we didn't just have a lot of shooters. We had a lot of makers. So uh, I think that's good. We need to take that into the, to the rest of the year. But that's what's exciting is that Reeves dropped over 20 every game. Uh, you know, he was knocking down the threes just like the end of last Reeves year. Is confident this year. Yeah, he's he's coming for it. He's, he's coming for blood this year. And then uh, who he else? Better. Trey, Trey Mitchell. Trey yeah, Mitchell Trey. is uh, – he's, he's a great shooter from – which I heard that he was, but I was even – more encouraged uh seeing that on the floor and then reed shepherd is even better than i than i thought it was going to be too out there so i well i mean I, you know a lot of people doubted reed because of his size but i watched reed play some laurel county or some laurel county or laurel high school games on tv here and there they when they broadcasted them and the kid is legit but he does you know, everything he defends he blocks he scores, he, he shoots, he's like a, steals. He's like a cheat on cocaine. I mean, it's like he's all over the place. And that's going to be really – I mean, that's going to give him a lot of playing time. Coleman, that's I mean, going to make the got, two-year clip too. Uh, yeah, a, ch- a cheat on <laughs> cocaine you would remember, be all over the place. I don't remember who his dad is. I mean, his dad's Jeff Shepard. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. yeah. I mean, so I mean, Jeff, was a, Jeff was a wild man beast. When he played for Kentucky back in the early '90s, so you know I remember watching Jeff play. So I mean, Reed's just going to be just like I think yeah. Reed will be a three-year man at least. I, I really, well, do. I really think Reed will stay three years. Well, Clyde says the opposite here, and I don't think this is crazy. There was a point in time that I did think this was crazy, but 
Uh, Claude says Reed is a one and done. Kid is a straight baller. I mean, I don't think he's a one and done. I think he's at least two years, maybe three, but I don't think it is clinically insane that he could be a one and done. Right now, I'm giving it two years, but I can I can see where people would be saying that he does all the I mean, the effort plays that I think the NBA. The kid, like. the kid is good. The kid is good, but I just don't see him. I see him staying here because of his dad. He'd be wanting to cement his own legacy at UK. So, I mean, I he hope seems I'm like right. he just likes UK. I hope I'm right because I want to keep this kid. I want to. I like to keep some of our players for you know two or three years. Can you imagine if we could get you know this class and and you know sophomores and juniors and then and then you know can you imagine what, how good they would be you know year two or three of them being at Kentucky? They would be unstoppable. Yeah, yeah. yeah I but agree. unfortunately, unfortunately, that never happens. But no, not no more. Used to, it was they they stayed all the time. Um, I remember, I think Mashburn stayed three years when he played. He was really good. He could have went early, but I don't even know if they had that back then. But I mean, just I mean, we have a lot of talent. So uh, I was really surprised at how well they played in Canada. Kind of glad we beat Canada a couple times because they like to run their mouth. But, you know, we yeah. weren't that good. So, then ca- uh, Canadians, yeah. It'd be pretty good if we beat them twice. So. Well, Josh, I hate to cut you off, but we got a tier list that we got to get to. Oh, that's cool. Uh, appreciate you guys taking the time. I call them in for, and uh, uh, go Cats. Have a great night. Yeah. And thank you for your support, Josh. It means a lot. Catch you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Haven't heard from Josh in a couple weeks. Good to hear from him, for we'll sure. Um, but, yeah, speaking of this tier list, we're, we're going to get to this tier list in just a second, but I, I cannot go on to the tier list um, w- without acknowledging um, these mustard Skittles uh, that have come out. Uh, that that was like the um, the picture on our post advertising uh, the show for tonight, so I feel like I can't ignore it. Um that is a thing. Like when I first saw that, I thought it was a joke, but it was like on WKYT. It was a real thing. Um, mustard Skittles. Those are like being released, uh, apparently. Um, Justin Bartels commented uh, on our post and said that we need to take those to Knoxville, which I thought that was funny. I didn't even think about that. Uh, didn't even draw that connection. Um, but uh, what a what, we've seen this before, like with Lay's potato chips doing, you know, like stupid flavors and stuff. Why do companies do this? Like, is it so that we talk about it so people will think of Skittles more and buy more Skittles? Like they can't possibly think that people are actually going to buy mustard Skittles. Do they? I mean, they, that's not. Well, well, when I think of Skittles, I think of something that's sweet. And when I think of mustard, I think of something that's not sweet. So that's I'm right. Trying to figure out uh, to me that that sounds like Skittles on a diet or something, which doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what diet includes mustard Skittles. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just, I just don't get it. Um, it's in honor of national mustard day. I know that, but that still doesn't explain the, the Skittles part. I mean, we can celebrate mustard without having Skittles. I feel like, like we don't need Skittles to celebrate mustard day. Um, this article says Skittles don't, uh, Skittle, Skittles, Skittles don't generally strive to be this tangy. But in anticipation of National Mustard Day on August 5th, the famous American candy is taking a risk. Yeah, I'll say it is a risk. Uh, French, uh, French's has partnered with Skittles to give mustard lovers all over the country a new French's mustard Skittles flavor and a chance to win a free fun size packet through three pop-ups and an online sweepstakes while surprise supplies last. Okay, so it's just like a limited edition, you know, you can win this kind of thing, which makes a little bit more sense. Uh, this is French's fifth year going out, all out to celebrate the holiday. The mustard brand knew it wanted to do something different this year after incorporating mustard into donuts and ice cream. Um, just still doesn't explain it to me. I I, I, I still don't get it. You know, I, I'm still- Yeah, not I'm not convinced. Explain. It's gonna yeah. take a little more for me to to pick that. Choose yeah, that. That's a, so it's it's not kind of not my thing. Is what it's sounding like. It's a no for me, dog. Um, but just just had to acknowledge that before before moving on here. Um, 
Caden did mention that we we have a tier list to get to, as you guys remember back in episode number 46, which I think is one of our best episodes yet to date. Um, we did an SEC fight songs tier list, and and that was a lot of fun, you know, especially Caden and I being uh, musicians, you know, uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, Analyzing the brass and the yeah, of course, the lyrics and yeah. Well, I was gonna do, you know, I was gonna do another major conference, um, but I thought, you know what, that's that's too serious. So uh, I thought I would go to the Ohio Valley Conference. You know, let's go to the OBC and let's let's do some fight songs there. So we're going to do uh, close out the show today, uh, doing an OBC fight songs um, bracket. Now we we do have Morehead State in the OBC, Murray State and Eastern both used to be in the OBC. Now they're they're both moved you know moved on to other conferences. So we, we still got Morehead in there though. So there's still a little bit of a Kentucky connection. Um. It was easy to find recordings of SEC fight songs on YouTube, as you can imagine, with the big schools. A little bit more challenging for the Ohio Valley Conference, as you might imagine. Um, so so some of these are kind of questionable recording quality, but we're going to do it anyway. So um, I wanted to go ahead and start, Caden, here with uh, Eastern Illinois. Um, I, I don't know what their mascot is. I believe it's a lion. I could be wrong. Um, what do you, Is that a lion? I mean, that, that's why I was going to guess. Um, it could not uh, be. It could be blurry, blurry lion is what it looks like to me. Some other form of cat. Um, but we're just going to go with the Eastern Illinois lions for now, unless somebody corrects us uh, in the comments. So um, let's give this a listen, and then uh, we'll we'll break it down. So Eastern Illinois. It was a little bit of a redundant ending there um, for me. You know, we had the tonic there for a little bit, the little bit longer than we really needed. Um, for me, that that's a pretty generic fight song. That's like a, it's like great value brand, you know, uh, Dollar Tree fight song. There, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's not particularly great either. Um, so, you know, that that automatically puts it at C for me. Have a little bit, you know, a little bit too long of an ending there, um, unnecessary. Uh, probably brings it down to a D for me. So I, I, I'll probably, I don't think it's terrible, but I think it's below average. So I'll probably go D tier. My first thought is, do they have one percussionist total? Because all, literally all I heard was a snare drummer. Yeah. The, the drum line was, was, uh, busy that day. So they just, they just hired out the local, uh, yeah. Percussion teacher to play all the drum lines parts. Yeah. My next started. thought was from an ensemble standpoint, there wasn't much matching going on as far as note links. I heard a trumpet and a mellophone stick out quite often, so it's automatically going to be automatically D, probably E for me. Yeah, I'll I'll go ahead. You know, I'll say I say D tier. That that's my vote. You go can put it in either one. Um, let's go with but, D. Okay, let's let's put it in D. That's that sounds good to me. Um, now. You know, you mentioned percussion. You're going to hear a lot of percussion in this next one because I couldn't find like a decent recording of this at all, really. Uh, not that this is a bad recording, but it was probably not ideal mic placement. Um, I think it's like one of the snare players uh, in the marching band um, holding a camera uh, because that's the only recording that I could find um, of this was some some drummer in the band recording it while he was playing. Um, Lindenwood. Uh, who I think are also the Lions, actually. I, we, maybe everybody in the conference is the Lions, but uh, the Lindenwood, yeah, that's definitely a Lion, right? There's no question about that. Like, that's that's not subtle. He's got the mane and everything up there. So, yeah, Lindenwood. Um, so, uh, yeah, but we're just going to roll this, and we're going we're gonna to see. So uh, it, it, forgive me if this is a little um, percussion heavy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, now the trumpet sounded good at the end. I'll take that. That was a full fat and free sound there at the end. So I'll, I'll, I'll automatically put it, um, not at F for, for that. Um, now, uh, again, it was percussion heavy, but that's the only recording out there. So we can't really fault that. Um, I, I, I thought probably C tier for me. I, it, it had some nice moments in there. Once you look past is, all the other. Stuff. It, it is way better than the last one, in my opinion. <laughs> and, and the fact that that kid was like just texting, he obviously didn't care. <laughs> and I think people in general care too much about college marching band. Just my, just my opinion. So, yeah. and, and they were playing the music. They were laying it down. So it, it's definitely better than the last one. I'm going to go, I'd go C plus. So yeah, I'd agree with you. I'll go, give it C. C tier. Josh is another If we're dude. being honest, Lyndon Burt, was it Lyndon? No, Lyndon Wood. Lyndon, Lyndon Wood, Wood yeah. sound, sounds like some generic high school name off of high school musical or something, but it that's does. besides the point. Yeah. Yeah. Does. C's fine with me. All right. So, so next we have our very own Moorhead State uh eagles so um good music program there you know good good trumpet program so uh yeah we're, we're gonna roll it that is the that's an intimidating eagle right there yeah. Yeah. two so that we got kenneth farid went to moorhead state right is that where he went yeah he that's get, where he it, went yeah, okay gotcha either that or eastern i, I think, think he moorhead. went to moorhead yeah and moorhead beat louisville in the tournament that one year you know that was a good memory i'm so a moorhead a fan um, yeah, we're basically just like Moorhead homers over here. So, yeah, Moorhead State. I think, I think the trumpets could have gone up a little little higher there at the end instead of staying on staying on the same note. You know, that yeah, they're Greg, little... Greg Wing students, so they can do it. Yeah, they can, <laughs> they, they can, they can do it. They can put some notes on top of that. But that's not the fight song's fault necessarily. They're just playing what's written, not what's written there, you know. Um, so uh, I, I thought that was a good fight song. All, all around good, good, you know. And uh, they, they played it well. You know, one thing I try to do is that, uh, you know, teaching marching band trumpet sectionals, I try to get my students to match lengths on notes. I felt like they did very well on the fight, mm -hmm. fight, fight, you know, part uh, for Moorhead. So I'd, I'd go A or B. Bully. I don't did think you see S. the – did you – no, it's not S, but it's it's hands down the best one so far. Did you even see oh, the yeah. – four bars of four, four in there. I, I did like, like that they include that in case you're keeping score at home. There's yeah. four, four bars of four, four and, and four, four time or whatever. Yeah. I, I did like that. Yeah, yeah. So, so from a presentation standpoint, it's there. The music was pretty solid and the Eagle is pretty intimidating. So that's is. definitely a solid A for me. Uh, let's go A. you know, just because it's Kentucky, it's Moorhead. They beat Louisville in the tournament, you know, a tier. I think that's, it's no question about it. Um, now, Western Illinois is next. I have some friends that teach at Western Illinois, so you know we can't can't be too critical here. So you know we gotta we gotta, um, but we still gotta be honest. We still gotta hold integrity in our tears. So, um, but uh, here we go, uh, Western Illinois, and uh, I think they're the Bulldogs. It looks like I, if I think they're not on here. <laughs> Well, that's okay. Uh, we we just forgot about Western Illinois, but that doesn't mean that they're not good. Um, we will just uh, we'll pretend like it's on there. So here we go, West, Western Illinois.
It was a little long. <laughs> a little long. I, I see you got the bulldog up there. So we got the logo yep. going. Um, it was a little slow for me for a fight song. I, I feel like after you score a touchdown, you you want you want it to be a little bit quicker than that. It's just my opinion. Yeah, it's kind of lacking. Did they rip this from Georgia or something? I mean, didn't that look just like the Georgia Bulldog, except different colors? Yeah, it looks like Ugga a little bit. Yeah. But it's like an LSU Ugga. I will give them props for the lyrics. I mean, something. what did it say? Every heart will sing victory song or something like that. So, you know, they're trying to motivate um, and they are. their team to play well. So, yeah, I'll give them that. But other than that, I think it kind of sucked. <laughs> it, was too, it was too long, too slow. Um, I'm going to go E. I don't think I won't put it F. I won't be that mean. Yeah, you know, because I have some friends there, but I, I'll, I'll go E. I was going to say D minus. So I, I guess that evens out at E plus. So yeah, <laughs> let's go E. Let's go E. Yeah, that's that's fair. Um. Okay, next one here. Josh did not like it. He did not. He's I, the worst, one, the so worst far. one so far. He put a thumbs down, too. Um. Next, we have Southern Illinois. I think they're like the Greyhounds or something. Hound dogs. They're, they're something like that. Um, did you forget Southern Illinois too? No. We got it's Southeast Missouri Indiana. State, Southern Indiana. Well, Southern Illinois is on here Dude, too. Dude, I thought you said there were 11. There are 11. I think. You got some ones in there that aren't in the conference, maybe. I don't <laughs> Where know. Where is Little Rock? <laughs> well... Uh, we'll, Little we'll get Rock to it. in it? I think it's University of Arkansas, Little Rock. Yeah, I think they're in it. Yeah, they are. Yeah, University of Arkansas, Little Rock. Um, they're on here. But anyway, Southern Illinois. Um, we have a uh, we we have a friend of the show on there, Barry Henson, the the coach at uh, Southern Illinois, the the guy that said um, that the size doesn't matter when you're rebounding and and all that. Uh, where he, he went off after they lost to Murray State or, or whatever, um, that that's Southern Illinois coach. Um, so he made it. He made it pretty far in our in our coach rants bracket challenge uh, in episode number two. I think that was. It was pretty early on in talking Kentucky. Um, but anyway, uh, Southern Illinois, um, and and uh, Caden's even got the. He's got the logo here. That's Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. I, I couldn't really find their mascot, but well, do they even have one? It's yeah, it's like some kind of dog, I think. Oh. But without it, further, it probably looks like Western Illinois, except red. Honestly, yeah, it's close. All these small schools is close enough. Yeah, but anyway, uh, without further ado, the Southern Ill- Illinois University at Carbondale <laughs> fights on. S tier. I'm not gonna lie, Coleman. It literally did nothing for me. I, that dude, that's the best one so far. That is S tier for me. I it, you, it did you had, say S? I thought S-tier. you said F. No, I said S as in super. That's my that was my favorite one so far. You had the you had some trombone glisses in there. You had a little some double tonguing. It was good. I, I'm not gonna lie. When it started, I thought okay, I'll give that C. And then when it kept going on, I thought, man, this is really starting to annoy me. So by the end of that, I was wanting to put them F. So, so if we have S and F, what's that even out to? A C? C. Well, we need to go to the comments. We need like Josh or Claude to tell us what their opinion is. We, we need a little bit more information. But yeah, it's just so man, boring. I thought that that was the, the most plan is like la, 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 
<laughs> it's the, like someone's was, like about to fall asleep playing their trumpet. That was the most captivating one that I have heard all day today. So I, I'm going, I'm going S tier. But like I said, I feel like we need we need some more input in the comments on this one, um, like from Josh or something like that. But maybe they're thinking about it because they haven't said anything yet. Clyde or, or Stephen and Kata, if you're here. The music I've, expert. Oh yeah, he would. He would be good. We need some some. In, uh, we'll input put it C him. for now. But we'll come back to it if someone comments. That's a good idea. It, it does. I mean, I think the S and F does mathematically even out to a C. So technically, <laughs> that's where it belongs. Um, Josh says it was boring. Thank you, Josh. Okay, so I guess that bumps it down. Well, he says C, so, so that means we're still at C. I guess. Um, well, we'll leave it at C. Unless unless we overturn that, uh, we, we might go back to the booth for review on that one, but we'll leave it at C for now. Um, instant replay. Yeah, instant replay. Deal. Yep. Um, well, hopefully uh, John Higgins or um, the other dude. Tony Green. Or... Who's the dude that like goes to the monitor every five seconds? Doug Shows. Doug Shows. Yeah, hopefully Doug Shows isn't doing that review. Claude says mid, so that also is C. Um, <laughs> But uh, anyway, Southeast Missouri, um, Southeast Missouri State, to me, to be more specific, um, the Red Hawks here, or Pretty maybe Nebraska. maybe it's just Southeast Missouri. Maybe maybe there's no state. But in in any case, um, the 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 stage is yours, Southeast Missouri. See, the problem with that, the problem with that one is they they stole Western Kentucky's fight song. That was verbatim, stand up and cheer. Stand up and cheer. Stand up and cheer for dear old Western. Well, the, the question is who who became first? Didn't that say 1873? Well, I, I'm I'm going with Western because it's Kentucky, <laughs> but but I don't care what dates you show me. Um, but in, in any case, what it, whoever came up with it first, it is kind of a Dollar Tree fight song to me. So I, I'm... But you got to give props to the dude doing the video. That was impressive. Yeah, well, the same video tier, it's a fight song tier. It's the audience. <laughs> You're but, the one that included the video. So I, I'm just judging it. Well, that it was a nicely done video, but I'd, I'd probably have to go E tier for this one, at least, if not F. Oh no! I'll go. Decently, e. I was pretty decently happy with it. I'd say B. So what's that even out to? C. E. I'll B say minus. E. Yeah, I'll say E. So I'd I'd be fine with with D if you really want to put it in D. All then right. I won't, I won't be upset about that. B plus, but yeah, I thought it was pretty right decent. Uh, Josh Hart says so. Dead last. Dead last. <laughs> Josh has spoken. But hey, you doing? you just convinced him with that Western Kentucky comment. That's what happened there. Well, he he was offended. I I was too. That's why I said it should be dead last. Um, we'll go on to Southern Indiana for now. Um, 
What's their mascot? They all eagles. They're like they're all birds. Eagles or dogs. Or dogs. Yeah. yeah, they're birds or dogs. That's what everybody is. Except oh, you put Austin P in there, and Austin P isn't in the conference anymore. Oh, That's so I had an old list. Is. It's because it's not a dog or an eagle. That's why it's not <laughs> in the conference. Um well, uh yeah, Southern Indiana uh they're not just the Eagles, Caden, they're the screaming eagles. Yeah. So whatever. We gonna hear we go we gonna hear some screaming trumpets in this. I say not. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> 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 it's intonation that was the worst thing i've ever heard <laughs> did they put the mic right next to the piccolo <laughs> i feel like i could hear the piccolo and the rest of the band um so that we go was on like is there anything worse than f we go on f <laughs> no i don't think there's anything worse than f I'm down here is can we create can we create s s f super f <laughs> yeah that was pretty that bad was, that was truly horrific now i know why they screaming <laughs> josh, josh says that one sucked <laughs> i'd have to agree um well we'll move on past that one <laughs> uh tennessee tech um which actually is pretty good music school. So I have high expectations of, of Tennessee Tech. Um, TTU, as they say. I think they're also the they're the they're the golden eagles. So they're not the screaming eagles. So if they're golden eagles, I I expect the intonation to be a little bit better. I'm just saying Moorhead has the best eagle of all of them. It does. There's not no even, doubt. Not even close. It's it's not even a competition. But we'll see how the golden eagles do here. At least it was short, I guess. Yeah, at least it was short. I thought it wasn't over yet. Um, but uh I, I mean I, I thought it was okay. Like the music was average, the lyrics were pretty bad. Um what did it say? What were the first lyrics again? I have to let's listen to the first part of this one more time. <laughs> There they go. There they go again today. What a team. Why does it sound like all these are being played in a tunnel? It's it said there they go again to get today. What a team. Yeah, the Eagles. There they go again today. What a team. The Eagles. Like it just sound uh, that's I don't think it could be worse lyrics than that. The but dude who wrote that literally just like woke up one uh, day last and minute. Up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, sh- oh shoot! I forgot to do this. What, what, let's go. Let's go today, team. <laughs> Whatever it said. Um. Well, other than that, I thought the music was pretty average. 
Um, C? I'd probably, yeah, I'd, I'd probably go D or D or E. I don't, I'm, 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 we're we're I'm, really loading the bottom of this tier list, but they're truly really. most of them are pretty bad. If we're being honest, well, we have we got to be honest. Josh said F for sure. Um, oh wait, oh, no, he's no probably, nothing. Southern Indiana. He was probably bad. talking about. He's probably talking about Southern Indiana on that one. That was a minute ago. Oh, he just said F again. So he he also wants that one to be an F. I don't think it was um, F. The lyrics he, are pretty F, but he he also says plus they had Tennessee in their name, so there's that. That's true. <laughs> that's that's the most reasonable logic I've heard today on the show. So, will we putting it in E? I'm fine with E because okay. I don't think the music was that bad. Well, we have to reserve F for Southern Indiana because that was really bad. That was the worst fight song I ever heard on yeah. the show to date. So, yeah. So we definitely, I mean, that that has to be its own category, right? We have to reserve that just just for that fight song. Quiet well, F is not for fantastic. It's for something else that we probably can't say on this show. Yeah. <laughs> scuffed. We need we need yeah, another scuffed. F. we need an SK tier for scuffed. I feel like that would be a good one to ask. <laughs> SK scuffed. I can probably add that for next time. Um, uh, Tennessee State, Tennessee, University. Tennessee cheer, Tennessee cheer. Now, I do have a former student in Tennessee State's band, so I will say, I will say that, that uh, you know, but I'm judging their fight song, not not the student. So, you know, we, we I'll be, I'll, I'll set my bias aside. So, Tennessee State. We had some screaming trumpets in that one. Uh, I kind of feel like I've been to church, not a football game, though. Dude, but I like the change of pace. I like the jazz. Pull I do robot. like it. I don't know if that's what I want to hear after a touchdown, but, I mean, you know, as a piece of music standing alone, I thought it was, thought it was all right. Josh says, Josh thought it was a little too long, and I agree with him. It, it was a little long, so, <laughs> but I, I, I kind of liked it. So, you know, I'm, I'm going B with this one. I, we don't have anything at B, and this is different than everything else, so I'm saying B. All right, then. I, I'm, I'm not against that. I, when I first heard that fight song when I was downloading it, I wasn't expecting it to be that high, but um, you know, I guess Southern Indiana set new standards for that, so I'm fine with that. Um, we got a couple left here to finish it out. We do have the University of Arkansas Little Rock, um, and that's not a bird or a dog. Oh, I should say Tennessee State was the Tigers, so changing it up there too. Uh, um, Spartan, we got we got a Spartan here. Oh, we got second. Little Rock basketball. I got the Little Rock basketball. <laughs> well, hopefully it's not the basketball team playing the fight song. Um, but uh, this one's pretty short; it's twenty seconds. So um, let's go for it. <laughs> Dude, 
Dude, that Tuba's killing it. He was. They were. Or sorry, uh, Sousa phone. Yeah, they they had some. They were they were definitely uh, articulating together. That there's no. They need some intonation work. Really, but, really brisk fight song too. It is brisk. Um, they said they're the best. Put us to the test in the lyrics. So, see, I'm a fan. Yeah, I was gonna say, hey. All right. Well, well let's go to the comments. Let's phone a friend here. Um, Josh says it's the best one yet. Um, Ooh, S, he says. So we got an S and oh, an A. And I said a C. a C. So that probably... Like B plus? Or A. I I could be... Uh, Clyde, Clyde says, what you think? Claude said LSU is a real tiger. That's, <laughs> that's very sure. That's very true. Uh, yeah, we need... I feel like we need Clyde to weigh in on this to know for sure. Um I mean, I'm not against putting it higher than C, so I, I I would be fine putting it at at A. I'd be curious to see what Claude says, but all right, it will yeah. be a tentative A, tentative A. Like you you tentatively believe that aliens are fake. Um, Claude said F. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Does that mean B? Yeah. Let's put. It Come on, B. Clyde. They're not below C. Yeah. Let's put it at B. This ain't no Southern Indiana. No, it's not. It's for sure. Josh's A is good, so I don't know if he'd agree with B, but you know what? There we go. <laughs> That's good. That's where it belongs. But we got to close it out here with UT Martin. They're the Skyhawks, um, so they're kind of being their own kind of bird there. Uh, close this out. Hopefully, hopefully this is a good one. Hopefully, they save the best for last. The UT Martin. Let's let's see here. Yeah, the Skyhawks got goggles and and everything. So here we go. That was pretty bad. Yeah, that's a solid like E minus. What what is that first phrase? Da, 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 da. I, I feel like I was just listening to half steps. Da 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 their fight songs like Schlossberg number six. <laughs> okay. It's not quite southern Indiana tier. But it was still like pretty bad. So, well, this is a S <laughs> for sure. Who put who said S for sure? Jo- Josh liked that. It was okay, but was too long. I agree, it was too long. Um, and also, the chanting wasn't even together in the middle. Clyde's still going on about Tennessee. He yeah, Tennessee almost won this year. No, they didn't. We're gonna win it this year. No, you're not. <laughs> that's, that sums it up. I think he's talking about the actual Tennessee, isn't he? Yeah, he is. And I think he posted a meme that said that today, which I actually Clyde posts the best Tennessee memes of anybody on Facebook. Uh and I, I save a lot of them to my phone. That that is one that I saw today and actually did save for future reference because it was very accurate. Uh because it's like, you know it's S tier meme when Coleman saves it to his phone for for yeah Xbox. for talking Kentucky. Well, yeah, it was like this Tennessee fan leaning over this guy saying, "Hey, we almost won't last year," and the guy said, "No, you didn't." He said, well, "We're going to win it this year," and he's the other guy says, "No, you're not." <laughs> um, so uh, so E or F? Yeah, I I well, Josh, we think it's in between. We think University of Arkansas Little Rocks in between A and B. 
we think UT Martin's in between E and F. So, um, was that close? Is that, out is that the tier? That's, That's the, the tier. tier. So we didn't have That's a single. We, we didn't have a single S. Um, if we did have to pick an S, Morehead. Yeah, probably be Morehead. Um, that's that's fair. Um, you, didn't you you like Southern? Didn't you like Southern Illinois? No, you hated Southern Illinois, but I I voted I Southern like, Illinois. I like as TSU. As TSU. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We're not S tier though. I mean, no, call it A B. So you didn't have any S tier votes. Well, well, so that folks, that's your OVC fight song talking Kentucky tier right there. So if you're ever wondering who has the best fight song in the Ohio Valley conference, it's Moorhead state. You know, we can go ahead and move it up to S tier. I, I think it's fine. I think, I think enough of us agree here that Moorhead should be S tier. Uh, Little rock. A let's just do it. Yeah. Let's, let's just put in. We'll, we'll put UT in Martin in the E tier because again, nothing was bad as, as Southern Indiana. Um, that's for sure. I feel like to to close out the show, we we got to hear Southern Indiana one more time. <laughs> I think I think we got I think we got to throw it out there one more time, just because I mean, you know, if if you're the if you're the best, you're the worst, and if you're the worst, you're the best. So you know, we'll we'll throw that out there. <laughs> to show this to the band kids and say do, do everything it. other than this. Don't be like Southern Indiana. It's yeah. a little bit. Everything of, they do do opposite. We get a little Jingle Bells quote there at the end. Jingle all the way. That's what it sounded like. Um, well, anyway. Um, this, is, this is moving a little bit off topic. Um, but uh, Kansas and North Carolina have scheduled a home and home for next year. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about that because like in all seriousness, like why can't we do that? Why can't we schedule these kind of home and homes with the Blue Bloods? It's not a part of any like challenge or any of that crap. It's it's like an actual home and home between Kansas and, and North Carolina. Who are our home and homes? We I don't know. We I don't think we have any. <laughs> do we have a home and home outside of conference play? Do we have a home and home? I don't think we do. I completely agree well, with Josh. It's come Louisville. on, it's time. It's time for Duke. Well, we were supposed to get it. We this got year, Justin but... Edwards. We got uh, Wagner. We got this seven foot two guy or seven foot seven guy, whatever he is, possibly coming in. We uh, we were supposed to get him in that ACC challenge this year, but for whatever reason, they put us with Miami, which makes no sense. I don't know why they did that. Um, not a marquee matchup. How you could have Kentucky Duke. Home and home. You you could have Duke and Rupp Arena. You have Kentucky and Cameron Indoor, but you're putting this with Miami. Just doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, I, I wanted I wanted to play Duke. Uh, but yeah, I don't get it. I I just there's so much opportunity there. Who's your top three like teams you'd want to play home and home with? Other other than Duke, who are the other oh, two? Yeah, Duke, Duke Kansas. Is, Duke is number one. Kansas, which you've already done, but that's just because of the Big Twelve challenge. For me. I love playing Michigan North State Carolina. Or North, yeah, North Carolina. Yeah, 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 screw Michigan State. Yeah, screw Michigan State. I, I'm a North Carolina guy. Yeah, I could see that. I'd be. I would be honestly fine with either of them or Michigan State. But we already play North Carolina sometimes, anyways, don't we? Yeah. Well, I mean, a special matchup. It's not the home and home though. Vill- even Villanova. 
I wouldn't be sad playing Villanova home and home. Now that Jay Wright's gone, it's a little bit different, but um, yeah, those are the big ones. UCLA, for me. Indi- UCLA, Indiana. I Gonzaga. Pretty, I want another Gonzaga Indiana. game. I guess we, but I mean, we well, already got that. It's just well, not. We, we say it's a home and home, but it's it's not. We didn't play in the kennel. Well, I, I think we're going to in like five years or something. But why didn't we this year? Like for real. But no, but that I'm know. gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say Mark and I right now. I, I just have a gut feeling. I feel like we're gonna play Duke in the tournament this year at some point. I feel like we're gonna match up with Duke. People are gonna want to see that matchup this year with the with the team we got. I don't know. I I just have a feeling we're going to happen. Do you think it's going to be in the final four? Or... No, I, th- I think it's going to be one of those elite eight ones that should have been a final four game. Like like you know, we always play like North Carolina, Auburn, like these teams that should have been like in another bracket as a higher seed. Yeah. Always get put in our bracket, and we end up having to play in the elite eight to go to the final four. So but I think when's it's the be... last time they put Duke in the same? region as us i don't feel like it I happens think, very often no i think they did did they not do that this year i want to say they did this year but before this year i don't remember the last time that happened yeah i i, I think it was um i think they put us with them this year but i mean we we didn't make the tournament for like three years before that so it's def- definitely it's probably what we don't remember yeah, yeah it's really what when's the last time we made the tournament um uh josh says so are y'all gonna do more of the fight song here i get this comment up here so y'all gonna do more of the fight songs in the upcoming shows if y'all like them if you if you think it's fun i mean kate and i enjoy it but if y'all like them too heck yeah let's keep it going we'll 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 pick some more small conferences we'll do it um uh so is that the last time we played duke in the tournament was 98 Surely not. Was it? 98? I've been watching since 2004, 2005, and I've never seen this, so it that could be true. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, are you down to do more and more fight songs in these uh, these tiers? Come, oh, I think they're great. I, no, I, I, think I, I, I love hearing... I love laughing at <laughs> fight songs like Southern Indiana, so... Oh yeah, I'm I'm down for it. Let's yeah. If if y'all are about it, then uh, we'll we'll be about it too. We'll bring them back. It, it's funny the correlation to like bad. I don't know anything about Southern Indiana sports, but I know with the last one, usually if, if the if the team is usually pretty bad, their fight song is also pretty bad. So I I definitely think it's a correlation there. Yeah, there definitely was a Vandy as we saw in our last year yeah, list, but for sure. and UK being super so. Well, guys, I think we'll we'll kind of wrap it up here, start to call it a night. Um, uh, I wanted to say this on the last show. I don't know if I did or not, but we are on a bunch of different platforms now. We are not just on um, we are not just on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. We want to let you know if you're listening where all you can find us because it is not just um, on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. We are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Podbean. Uh, we're on Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, and uh, I think it's called uh, Castbox. <laughs> if 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 that's a thing, if if you uh, enjoy Castboxing, then you can find Talking Kentucky on Castbox. So be sure to subscribe to and rate us on those things. Rate us five stars. We appreciate that. Um, we're starting to get some more YouTube subscribers, but we want to keep that going because uh, we we post some good stuff on there. We're starting to post the Caden. We're starting to get hip and post the YouTube shorts. Uh, like we we posted one with Freddie uh, Freddie Maggard talking about the Kentucky uh, defense, and that got a lot of uh, views so far. I think Frank Tennessee uh, fan. How many? It's up to. I think it's up to. We're up to 458 views on on that now. So that that one's kind of taken off a little bit, but for some reason. You know, the funniest reel that we have on our YouTube channel is the uh, Cartman from South Park laughing at Louisville's championship banner. Yeah, that um, needs to take off. Yeah, it's only got 21 views. I, I don't get it because that's that's uh, that's hilarious. Um, so, yeah, we post show clips, some funny stuff on there. Um, you know, it's, it's good stuff. So be sure to subscribe to us um, on YouTube. That is at Talkin underscore Kentucky. 
Um, we have a Twitter We're trying to grow a followers on there as well. If you're on Twitter, give us a follow, um, which I think it's going to be called X now with the, uh, Elon Musk. Not sure what he's doing there, but as long as it's called Twitter um, at talking underscore Kentucky, follow us on there. We go live every week right here on our Facebook page. So be sure to like and follow us right here on Facebook. Our page is just called, as you might expect, Talk in Kentucky. And uh, last but not least, if you would like to uh, support us and, and help us keep our lights on as a podcast, you can become a supporter of Talk in Kentucky. The link is down in the comments below. And uh, you can get uh, some Talking Kentucky merch in exchange um, for your support. You can get a mug and or sticker um, in the mail. And uh, we're working on, uh, you know, uh, we'll keep it on the DL for now, but we're working on uh, adding a merch section to our website where you, you might might be able to get uh, some more merch than um, uh, to where you can just like, you know, buy something if you want to buy and don't, don't have to become a supporter through Patreon. You can, you can support us through that way. So we might have some merch on our website um, soon and uh, we'll get that up and running. And uh, so we'll keep you updated uh, about that um, too. Clyde says, y'all need to get on iHeartRadio. I thought about that Clyde. I, I uh, it, we'll, we'll, we'll keep that in the works. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll keep you updated on that. So I, I've definitely thought about that. Pandora. I haven't thought about Pandora. Is Pandora still a thing? Do people, do people still use Pandora? I thought Pandora is what people use like 15 years ago when they bought a new car or something. Yeah, I, I thought that was like the MySpace of music streaming. <laughs> uh, but uh, if Pandora still is, exists, maybe we can get on, uh, maybe we can get that night. Uh, we, we can get that too. Um, Josh says, uh, I was very glad that I got to watch a great show tonight. Thanks, Josh, for, for, Thanks for coming on. In. And thanks, thanks for uh, thanks for calling in. We really, uh, really appreciate that. Um, so, thanks y'all uh, for checking us out. Be sure Monday we're gonna put this on our page too. But Monday six o'clock Eastern time, right here, we're gonna have Maggie Davis on the show. I'm really excited that she's coming on. So be sure to be here and check that out. Um, we'll talk more UK sports then than we did tonight. I'm sure. So that's why we got all our silly stuff out tonight. Um, but uh, we're glad you all um, uh, enjoyed it. So uh, Clyde says, uh, much love, y'all. Uh, love y'all and uh, love you too, Clyde. Uh, we, we uh, you know, well, we love the support. So, um, yeah. Caden, you got anything else? No. Uh, talking Moorhead? Oh, that's or right. Winning our tier list, if it, that's a could, thing. It could they obviously won. What about talk? What happened to Miss Fitch? We do talking. Coach oh, talking Fitch. Fitcher. Talking. It, well, is it Fitcher or Fitch? What, what are we Fitcher going was with? the nickname. You got to tell me how to spell that. It's that F I T C H E R. Talking Fitcher. Okay, well, if that is how we you can spell be talking Miss Fitch, people would uh, will probably more so understand what we're talking about. Talking Miss Fitch. All right. Well, okay. Episode number sixty-two. Talking Miss Fitch. Okay, that works for me. If it works for you, um, you know, we can tag Drew Franklin. He'd understand. He would understand. Well, uh, for Coleman Scott, for Caden Holmes, and for Miss Fitch, uh, we'll see you all on Monday night for our show with Maggie Davis. Uh, this has been Talking Kentucky, and we'll see you all next time. Go Cats! Mm-hmm.